Hey, welcome to Living with Jason. So, this is basically just a short clip, you know. I just want to share with you guys a few tips about forex trading. And you know, a few hints that could help you become more profitable in the market. It could help you become more consistent in making profits, most importantly. Because remember, making profits in the market is not easy. But with some advice from the pros and the goats, can maybe make it. Who knows? So, tip number one. As a forex trader, never have one account. So it's very important to have multiple trading accounts. Now I'm saying this based on terms of instead of finding one account with $300, split it into three accounts, but make it even more useful. Split it into three brokers. So for instance, open your first account, use FWT markets, deposit $100. Open your second account, use JP markets for example, deposit another $100. Third account, FX Pro, deposit another hundred dollars. Now, by doing this, remember you're putting your money in different places. It's very important. It's important to have one offshore account, one local account in terms of taxes. But yeah, we'll get there later. You wouldn't know that. Anyway, as I was saying, so three trading accounts, one account. You don't never withdraw from that account. That's your main account. You make sure you grow that account from a hundred dollars to even if it's. $50,000 or $100,000. That's the one account that keeps on growing. Because remember, in trading, you make profits, you withdraw. It's not consistent. You're not sure if you're going to make money next year. You're not sure if you're going to make money in the next two months. So it's important to have that one trading account that you never withdraw from. Have that account. Let it be. Let it be a growth. Let it be your lifetime investment account. That's your first account. The second account. Now remember, there's two types of trading. That's called what you call swing trading. That's what we call scalping. Now your second account, make sure you scalp with it every day. Because remember, if you're a swing trader, you place trades, you let them run. But some days when you free, when you're not at work, you're not busy with school things, it's easy. You just scalp all day. You keep on growing your scalping account. Because remember, when you're not scalping, you could be using signals to grow your scalping account. And then account number three, the most important account, the long-term trades. This is where you analyze on H4 time frames, daily time frames. Tip number two, you need to trade with purpose. If you don't have one, make one. But make sure you do not trade with the mentality of getting rich quick. Trade with the purpose of developing a skill. And the more your skill grows, the more your income grows. It's very important. Protect your skill, grow your income. Don't be greedy. Trade with a purpose. So that means if you have your three accounts that you're growing, you have your what? You have your swinging account, your scalping account, your long-term investment. Now your long-term investment account, that's going to be the account that when you withdraw one day, you're going to buy yourself an A45, an M4, or be smart about it. Invest in property. Buy yourself a house. Because remember, that's your investment account. The only time you withdraw from this account is there's something big that you're going to be paying for. Don't be like these traders of nowadays who buy accounts that are having property. That's the most foolish thing. So investment account, key, key, key. That means you trade with a purpose. That means every trade that you place in that account, you know what you're trading for. And that will also motivate you to reach your goal quicker. And then you have your second account, which is a scalping account. Now this account, you can use this account as your pocket money account. So, for anything you need, like your sneakers, your clothes, your airtime data, money to ball in the club, it can be a scalping account. I mean, a scalping account can even range from profits of $5,000 to $6,000, depending on how good of a trader you are. So, trade with a purpose. You know that if you place those trades in that account, you're going to get the latest sneakers. You're going to get the latest everything you want, basically. But make sure you trade with a purpose. And then account number three, your swing account. This account can be the account that you pay your bills with. You pay your electricity, water, I mean your car installments, whatever the case may be. But make sure when you trade, it's always with a purpose. Because this thing of just finding one trading account and growing it to pay your bills, your car, your investment, what you want to buy one day, it's not going to work out because it's all too much. 
But once you analyze it and you put it nicely in tent and nicely in line, you will have the right strategy to approach the market. Because remember, trading is not just clicking a button, it's mentally. And if you get it right mentally, you will get it right profitably. Is also one of the most important. It's called risk management. Now, this is where a lot of traders fall off or where a lot of new beginner traders fall off because they don't have risk management. Now, you are you telling me you're going to fund your account with $100 and use lot size 0 0.05? It doesn't make sense. If you have an account that is $100 or less, you only use lot size 0 0.01 until your account is grown. Don't come here and think it's a business alone and come use 0.10. You're going to blow it now. Very quick. So risk management is key. I mean, if you follow me on Instagram and you look at the profits that I post, they're all reasonable profits. I could have a $45,000 account that I'm trading, but I would use lot size 0 0.77. Well, why am I not using lot size 10.00 because my account can extend it, but I know my risk management, I know the type of trading I'm involved in. Because remember, trading, making a profit in the market is really not easy. You only make 1 million rand on a demo account a day. When you're on a live account, there's real emotions involved. You need to make sure if that trade doesn't go your way, you're risking less. You don't want to lose the profit that you made already. So risk management is one of the most important key factors when it comes to trading. Don't be greedy. Just risk what you can afford and keep it simple and trade the market with the rules that is applied to being tailored to.